Are you a sinner? A seeker? Are you a complainer? Or are you somebody that brings salvation to others? In Luke chapter 19, we have a great story. There used to be a kid's song about it about a man named Zacchaeus. Now, Zacchaeus lived in Jericho, and Jesus came to Jericho one day. And Zacchaeus had a couple things going on in his life. One, he was a big-time sinner. He was a tax collector, and that, that's a Jew that became a tax collector for the Romans to tax the Jews. But he not, was not only a tax collector, he was the chief tax collector for all of Jericho. So they hated him. The Jews hated him. But he also was a seeker. In Luke chapter 19, verse 3, we read that when he heard Jesus came to town, he went to seek Jesus. But there was a big crowd around Jesus, and he wasn't, Zacchaeus was not a tall man, so he couldn't see over the crowd to see Jesus. So he climbed a tree <laughs> to see where Jesus was. And I love what happened next. It says, in verse 5, and when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and he saw Zacchaeus in the tree. And he said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste, come down, for today I'm going to go to your house. Jesus stopped and looked up, and what I love is Jesus gave this man dignity in front of all those people. Instead of the prestigious, famous, popular rabbi Jesus going to the house of some Pharisee or some rabbi or some uh, leader in the city, he went to Zacchaeus' house, the known sinner. That must have meant the world to Zacchaeus. I want you to understand something. If you're a sinner, Jesus looks at you with every bit as much love as he looks at anybody else. Jesus loves sinners. He came to seek and to save the lost. Zacchaeus was a seeker, and Jesus loves seekers, and he loves to, to reach seekers. And if you're seeking Jesus, I want you to know he's there to be found. So Jesus ends up going to his house. It says, uh, so he made haste, Zacchaeus did, and he came down and received him gladly. But the crowd, when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He's gone to be a guest with a man who's a sinner. They criticized and complained about Jesus. They missed the beauty of what was happening in their town that day. But then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I've taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore four Fold. That means if he stole $100, he gave back $400 if he had uh, cheated somebody out of $100. This man is a picture of genuine salvation, genuine repentance. Jesus saw that, and he says in verse 9, Today salvation has come to your house. If you're a seeker and you're willing to allow Jesus to really change your life, you're willing to step up and make things right with God and with other people, you can experience genuine salvation. But not only that, Jesus said, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. The mission statement of our Savior, seeking and saving the lost. So who are you today? Are you a sinner? Jesus loves you, and he wants to come into your life and change it. Are you a seeker? Jesus loves you. He's there to be found if you're willing to allow him to change your life. If you're a seeker who's really seeking Jesus, he can become your savior today if you will uh, respond in faith and genuine repentance, wanting to make things right. Are you part of the crowd? When God's working, when God's doing something, you miss the whole beauty of the whole thing, and you just complain about it like they did? Or are you somebody like Jesus? Are you living your life on mission, seeking and saving lost people for the kingdom of God?